Hello, my name is Luna Lakadu, and in this video, I will be showing you how to farm effectively unlimited studs in LEGO Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars. This method is entirely risk free, and since you don't have to worry about getting killed and having to run around to get your studs back, and it can be done in story or free play mode of Storm over Ryloth with no extras required. To do this, when you start out in Storm over Ryloth, you will want to head over to the nearest landing pad and land. Then you will cut a hole in the wall and you will use the force to connect this plug thingy over into the hole that you have created. Then you will go into the ship. Once inside the ship, go over to the turrets and jump in. You will want to move the reticle up a bit so that it seems to intersect most of the vulture droids which fly by. The reticle will not intersect all of the vulture droids which fly by, but the auto-targeting system should automatically curve the path of your fire so that every single vulture droid that flies by will be destroyed. For every separatist vulture droid that you destroy, you will get 1,230 studs. Because the auto-targeting system will destroy every droid in range and the droids cannot fire at you here, you could use this to idle slash AFK farm studs. There seems to be some RNG with this method, as it depends on the frequency of ships flying by, and I'm not sure the variability involved with that, but given enough time, you will rack up a lot of studs. In my testing, I found that I could easily get 1 million studs in less than 20 minutes with no extras enabled which is great if you're trying to get a bunch of studs for the stud multiplier red bricks. I initially discovered this method when I realized that when trying to destroy the Volter droids flying by, I was not moving the reticle along the y-axis, only the x-axis. So I decided to just not move and see how many studs I could get. And the rest, as they say, is history. When doing this, I recommend either taping down the fire button on your controller or rebinding the fire button to something else that could easily be held down on your keyboard, such as right control. I use a DVD case with a DVD inside on my keyboard, but you could use just about anything. A book, a phone, a bottle of pills, the sky's the limit. I'll fast forward the footage from here since there's no point in watching 20 minutes of firing into the distance, but just know that you can do this for as long as you want and get as many studs as you want.
as you can see, I have successfully obtained 1 million studs in just over 17 and a half minutes. So, thank you all for watching, and have a great day.